Hi everyone, so today I'm going to talk about the fastest growing function ever and this is actually a follow-up video on um, another video that I made like a, a while ago which probably have the same uh, title as well which is from Ron Graham. Uh, it's about the inserting plus signs and adding. Uh, so basically the idea is convert a natural number to a single digit number in k steps by using the insert and add operation uh, so feel free to watch that video first um, before this one because i'm not going to explain too much about this operation so uh, in that video i'm trying to tell you that this is the fastest growing function ever so g zero this is not the gram sequence not the you know grams number sequence but anyway g zero is zero g one is 10 g two is 19 g three is 289 and g four maybe infinity something like that so basically the function what does it represent is basically the smallest number that requires n number of steps uh, and in here you know a lot of people leave a comment you know um, you know there are a lot of ways let's say 199 there are multiple ways to do this to convert it to a single digit number you can do it in two steps or three steps so people has been kind of arguing between that because you can do it in three step as well but in this case I clarify that you have to use the most efficient way so in this case 199 it's two steps not three steps I mean you can do it in three steps but we talk about the most if most efficient way so it's two steps um, so a lot of people has been disagreeing because they said G4 is kind of undefined. Uh, there's no number that requires four steps using the most efficient way anyway. So it's not the fastest growing function, but I can tell them you can define the function. Uh, you can change the definition a little bit, redefine it and make it the fastest growing function. So is that possible? So again, this, feel free to watch that video first. You know, here you can pause the video, you know, uh, to see how this works to turn it into a single digit number. Um, so here's one example as well. Let's say I have a very big number, one zero zero with rails number of zeros. And this number, in order to turn it into a single digit number, it actually requires just one step because uh, the definition for this operation is basically you just add all the uh, digits together. It doesn't have to be uh, each digit by digit. Let's say 199, again, you can do it this way, one plus 99. Uh, so you don't have to put a plus sign between every single digit so here anyway um you just require one step to turn it into a single digit number for this number this number is bigger than rayo's number because it has rayo's number of zeros um so i just try to redefine this function a little bit so instead of being the smallest number that requires n step you know this would generate this function over here i change it to the biggest number that requires n step um, again most efficient way so change it a little bit so fn i mean f0 is in this case is 9 so the biggest number that requires zero step in this case is 9 uh, because in here the original video i said you know what's the smallest number that requires you know uh, zero step that obviously is zero uh, for one step is 10, two step is 19, for three step is 289. Uh, but here I change it to biggest number that requires n steps. So it becomes f0 is 9, f1 is 18, f2 is 288. Um, and then what's f3? The biggest number that requires n step in this case is infinity. Is it infinity? Infinity is not a number, but you can have any finite number that as big as you want. Uh, I mean, all finite number are finite. You can have, you cannot have a finite number that is infinity. But in this case, like you can argue it's infinity, but infinity is not a number. But it can be bigger than Rayo's number, uh, many, many, many times bigger than Rayo's number as well. Because it, one example would be this number. Uh, this number require one step. Uh, but anyway, this is not the correct example. You can have any other number. Um, you know, that's bigger than this that requires three steps in the most efficient way. Um, so would this be the fastest growing function ever? Because in this case, F3 is kind of not undefined because here there's no number requires four steps. So people can argue this is undefined. But in this case, yeah, there's a lot of numbers that requires three steps. But however, using this definition, 
f4 is kind of undefined because again no number requires four step in, the, in this case so even f3 is infinity f4 is undefined uh, but again do you agree this is the most the fastest growing function ever can you define another function that grows faster than this this one clearly if you, you if you ignore this undefined thing it clearly grows faster than tree three way faster than tree faster than bc beaver faster than rails function i mean it's arguable but uh but however what if i change it one more time what if i don't use the most efficient way you can do any way you want um let's say 199 you have to you can do it in two step or three steps but what if you don't have to do it the most efficient way so in this case or i mean you can do another number so um in this case, I think, um, let's say here, so F0 is still 9 because any single digit number, um, you know, uh, it's, it requires 0 steps. So the biggest number is, not, is 9 for F0. What about Fn? Fn is already infinity, I believe. If you can do uh, not the most efficient way. Um, so what's the biggest number that requires one step? So clearly, this is an this is already one of the example. You can have this number, very big number, bigger than Rayo's number, but this only requires one step. So f one is already infinity. If you don't have to use the most efficient way, you can do any way you want, the least efficient way, whatever. Um, f one is already infinity. F two is also infinity. F three also infinity. F four, F five, whatever. F of three three, whatever. It's infinite. They're all infinity. But this is again. What do you think? Do you agree? In this case, this would be the fastest growing function ever. So F0 is 9, F1 already infinity. Uh, but again, I think some people still kind of disagree. But uh, I think it's a very mind-blowing and kind of uh, interesting question as well. Again, of course, um, this thanks for Ron Graham again for providing or solving this um, problem over here. You know, again, it was very mind-blowing. So anyway, what do you think? Feel free to leave any comments in the comment section. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.